Amen, amen, amen. I want to welcome everyone. Thank you for coming. This is your host, Prophetess Dr. Christine Sigi. Welcome you from Overcomers Deliverance and Healing Ministry. Overcomers Deliverance and Healing Ministry is based on spiritual warfare. And we are dealing with warfare, leading warfare. We are on war. So we are on war and we have to fight. We have to fight until we win the battle. The, our God will help us through action, through faith, through, through going to attack them. We are not sitting down without action, without faith, without fighting. So fighting is to pray. Prayer and fasting. We are on prayer and fasting. We are continuing with our 21 days prayer and fasting. Therefore, people of God, when we go to fight through prayer and fasting, we fight, we are not using flesh and blood. We use prayer and fasting. Like now you are committing yourself to come and pray with us. That is fighting. Now, you know, Satan is the greatest deceiver. And his, and, and his millions are always trying to destroy human humanity by any means necessary. The title that I'm going to talk to you is called Destroy Any Power. That is in charge of destroying good things in your life. You have to destroy. If you don't destroy them, they will destroy you. You know, Satan is a deceiver. He's a great deceiver. He's a liar. He has destroyed good things in your life. Therefore, it's your turn. It's your turn to destroy anything the devil has destroyed. It's your turn to destroy it. It's your turn to tell the devil, I didn't know. Now I know. You've been, you've been destroying me. You are, you are destroying everything I have. Now it's my turn. That's why you can go to the devil and talk to the devil and say, Satan, I know you. You are a great deceiver. You are a great deceiver. You deceive millions and millions of people, but I've come to you to attack you and to put you a stop because I have authority. I have power against you in the name of Jesus. The, 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 the devil is a liar. He came to destroy, to kill, and to steal. The devil is certain is a completely a liar. He's known. John, John, John 8, verse 44. He's known, he's a liar. And he gets, he, he, he has his own resources of lying. He has his own resources of lying. Therefore, it is your turn to destroy his lie. To destroy his lie. All his lying has come an end in Jesus' name. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Satan is the greatest deceiver and is his millions are always trying to, to his, 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 his means, his me, means is trying always to destroy humanity by any means necessary. They would lie, kill, and destroy anyone they can easily if it would keep us from strong relationship with the Father. This is called spiritual warfare. Spiritual warfare. The devil is a liar. Spiritual warfare is to fight. Is to fight back. Because he has destroyed many millions. Millions of people are in his, his hands. We have to stand against his devices. Against his, 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 his daggers. We have to come against them. He's throwing that... that 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 into your hand, into your life, into your heart. He throw arrows. He shoot you. He inject you. He do you every damage. But you are not doing anything. So it is your turn to destroy anything that is destroying good things in you. Let's look on the book of Second uh, Corinthians ten, verse four. Second Corinthians ten, verse four. The Bible says, "For the weapon of our warfare are not of flesh and uh, but." have divine power to destroy strongholds. So our warfare, our weapons are not, our, for the weapons of our warfare are not of flesh, but have divine 
power to destroy stronghold, to destroy the works of the devil, to destroy everything that is working against us in the mighty name of Jesus. Divine power, divine authority, divine weapon we have in the name of Jesus. So we are not fighting flesh and blood. That is a lie. We are not taken by the wind that you are angry. You, you get discouraged. You give up. That is not spiritual warfare. Spiritual warfare, you stand with your two legs and you have been given hands. That this is a weapon. We will use it to dismantle, to cut him off and destroy him in the mighty name of Jesus. Adam and Eve experienced the first human battle with Satan in the garden. And because of their fall, he has continued to try to destroy mankind even since even although we have been in a, in a cosmetic war ever since the human ever since the beginning of time god has provided us with what we need to defeat our enemies this this verse is very important because god has provided us a weapon how to fight our 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 enemies yes Hallelujah. This verse is important because it is explained that our warfare, our weapons of warfare are not normal ones. They are not normal ones. Our warfare, our weapon of warfare are not normal. They are spiritual. They are powerful. They will kill. They will destroy. They, they, our spiritual warfare are not normal. They are divine power, divine authority, Divine weapon, arrows that you cannot miss when we use them properly. Uh, it is they are not normal. Rather, they have divine power to destroy anything that Satan throws to us. Our weapon of warfare, our weapon we have, they are not normal. They are powerful. They are strong. That they will destroy anything the devil is throwing to us. Anything that Satan is doing to us, anything a witch is doing to us, we, our weapons are there to destroy and return back everything they are doing to us in the mighty name of Jesus. Now, let's look in the book of Ephesians 1.3. The book of Ephesians 1.3. The Bible says, Blessed be the God and the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us in Christ with every spiritual blessing in the heaven places. God has blessed us with every blessing, every spiritual blessings, every spiritual blessing. Hey, hallelujah. Glory be the name of Jesus. My God, I thank you, Jesus. Look at that. God is great. Blessed be God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us in Christ with the every spiritual blessing in heaven places. God the Father is always fighting for us, and it is, it is He that blesses us continually. He knows that we are waging a war, so He provides us with the spiritual weapon and the blessing we need in heavenly places. He has provided us with the spiritual weapon in heavenly places to fight the enemy, to fight Satan, because he knows Satan is here and he will fight us. So he has to provide a way to come out to fight him. He has, we don't take a gun, we don't take life, we don't take, we don't take a, a gun to shoot. We don't cast, we don't use anything apart from spiritual war, weapon that we have been given. Spiritual weapon is to reverse and command the enemy to put a stop. God has given us spiritual weapon to fight. Hallelujah. And the blessings we need in heavenly places. He has not left us alone or abandoned us in this spiritual battle. God has not abandoned us. God has not left us alone. He has given us spiritual warfare. That's why the Bible says our spiritual warfare are not carnal are not flesh and blood. No. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. Let's look in the book of Ephesians 3 verse 10. The Bible says, So that although the church, the 
manifold wisdom of God might now be made known to the rulers and authority in heaven places. So that through the church, through the church, the manifold wisdom of God might now be made known to the rulers and authorities in heaven. The church is the bride of Christ. The church is the bride is the church is the bride of Christ, and as such, the Lord has granted us his manifold wisdom. This discernment has been given to us to help us stand firm. To help us stand firm, stand firm against Satan's wells. Being a part of the church, I believe, will help us wage an effective spiritual warfare war against our greatest enemy. We are the body of Jesus Christ. We are the church. You are the church yourself. The church is not the building that you are en entering in. We are the church. Spiritual warfare is a big church. We are the church. You yourself, you are the church of God. That's, that's why God has given us a weapon to stand against them, to stand against the enemy. Spiritual warfare is a church. We are the body of Christ. So, the enemy, the devil, who has deceived people, de destroying good things, anything good, he goes and destroys. And then you remain crying, remaining miserable, standing you, you confused. You give up, you discourage, you run from church to church, from prophet to prophet, from minister to minister. You call people all over the world to pray. Pray for me, pray for me. Stand firm. Stand firm. You are the body of Jesus Christ. You are the church. And you have the greatest weapon. God is God. Let's look on the book of Ephesians 6 verse 11. The Bible says, Put on the whole harm of God that you may be able to stand against the schemes of the devil. Put on the whole harm of God so that you can be able to stand against the schemes of the, uh, of the enemy. Schemes, the schemes of the enemy. Schemes of the devil. Devil Satan has schemes, has plans, evil plans. He, he, he will make sure that he has destroyed anything good coming to you. So you have to put the whole harm of God and destroy him. Destroy him. Don't let him destroy good things in your life. Don't let the devil to destroy anything. You have to fight. Even with this prayer, I ask some people to pray the Bible, to, to read the Bible 35 days to finish it. You have to grab and donate three hours to spend and read. Then this is how you will finish the devil. The devil cannot have power if you spend three hours reading the Bible every day. Or one hour if you are so busy. You, the, you, the devil will not have, cannot defeat you. The devil will never defeat you if you are the person who will obey and do what I'm telling you that now. It, when, you will know his secret. You will know the schemes. And then you know the tactics, how you can get him. This Bible, the word of God is, this is constitution and it is a law, law uh, it is rules, it's a law. If you not think this book, nothing would the devil do to you. The devil has no power, nothing he will do to you. No power of the enemy. Devil does not have any power, any authority that he will bring you down. It is you who gives him permission to operate on you, to destroy your stuff, to put sickness on you. It's you. You stand firm, read the Bible, stand firm against his schemes. He will be destroyed in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. God is God. Colossians 1 verse 16, the Bible says, For by him all things were created in heaven and on earth, visible and invisible, where thrones or dominions or rulers or authorities all things were created through him. For him. All things were created through him. Yes, God is good. In the name of Jesus. I, I, I thank God that some believers, some believers, they don't believe the weapon God has given them. Yes. Yes, my God. Yes, God. Thank you, Jesus. People of God, 
You don't know the authority, the power that God has given you in this book. You have no idea what you have. When you put into practice, when you put into faith, when you put into action, I'm telling you, you cannot let the devil to destroy good things in your life. Look at that. When the, the scripture is talking like this, for by him, who? By him, all things were created in heaven and on, he, on earth. God the Father is the one who created all things in heaven and in the heart, visible and invisible. Whether throne or dominion or rulers of authority, all things were created through him and for him. But if we are not, if we are to wage war against our enemies, we have to acknowledge that he is really. He is really, therefore, people of God. This first confirms that God created all things in heaven and on earth. The visible and the invisible. The rulers and the authorities, since we are in a spiritual battle against the forces of evil, we divinely need God fight on our side. We need God to fight on our side. Because he is the one who created, he is the one created Lucifer. He is the one created Satan. All the demons they are operating, nothing the devil has created. You know, Satan has not created anything. He uses everything God has created. He copy everything, is a counter copy. He is an expert in copying. And they take it to use against the children of God who, are, who, are, who do not know anything. The Bible says you will know the truth and the truth will set you free. Have you, have you never, have you ever known the truth? Do you know the truth? Do you know the truth that will set you free? Have you ever known, have you discovered the truth that will set you free? Which Jesus said, the Bible says my people are destroyed because of lack of knowledge. You are destroyed because of lack of knowledge. This is what the Bible says. The Bible says my people are destroyed because of lack of knowledge. Now it is your turn. Tell God, my God, I'm sorry because I, I've been destroyed because of lack of knowledge. Now I know. I've studied my Bible 35 days, go through, and I'm reading more. I know you have given me power and authority. I know you are fighting for me. The battle is yours, it's not mine. My work is to talk to you and stop and, 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 and command every authority that you have given me. I use it, God. You, you tell God, God, thank you that you have given me the power and authority and I'm going to use it in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Here is another scripture from the book of Colossians 2 verse, 20, 2, verse 15. The Bible says, He dismantled, he dismantled the rulers and authorities and put them to open shame by trumping on them in him. He dismantled he dismantled, dismantled the rulers and all and authorities and put them to open shame. You know, this is very serious. God has given us openly clear how he has dismantled, disarmed the powers of the devil and has shamed him and put him in a shame. God has given us. God has given us the weapon of our warfare, the element of salvation, the breastplate of righteousness, the belt of the truth, the shoe of the gospel of peace, the sword of the spirit, and the shield of faith. These weapons are not traditional ones used in war, but they are even more effective in defeating our enemies. This is this first confirmed that it is through God our 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 force are dismantled and put to shame and the, and the, and the, and that we can trample on over him in the mighty name of Jesus yes lord jesus lord we thank you because you will put the, the devil to shame you cannot be put to shame the bible says he who believe in the scripture will never be put to a shame how many times have you been put in shame how many times the devil has confronted you and you feel guilty you you feel shame because you don't know the right. You have no idea what the right he here in this Bible, in this word of God. Once you know that scripture of Colossians, uh, you will stand firm. You will 
he turned back, led the devil to be ashamed because God has disarmed him and put him to shame and trumpet on him. God has given us power and authority to trumpet on Sabbath and Scorpion. Nothing by all means shall hurt us in Jesus' name. The devil is roaring like a lion, but it's not a lion. He starts roaring. He starts roaring he, he, to scare you so that you can run away and give up. When a child of God decide to give up the work of God, decide to give up the ministry, start, start, decide to give because he has been defeated by the devil, I'm sorry for you. you there is no way you can give the work of God because of the devil. Check yourself. You know, when Saul repaired, Saul was this sin. God cannot depart from you for nothing. If your heaven has been closed, you don't hear God. You don't have dreams. You don't have vision. Something is not right. Seek he, you will find him. The Bible says, seek the kingdom of God and all others will be found. You just sacrifice yourself. Seek him. Say, God, I am repenting. Any door that I have opened, that has closed my heaven. Any power, anything. You seek him, you will find him. Nobody will find God for you. It is you yourself. Because the Bible says so. Seek the kingdom of God and other things will fall. When Saul refused to seek God, he was rebellious. God, God closed heaven for him. He could not, he, God is God. He's a holy God. He doesn't choke with the fool's people. He doesn't choke people who are not serious. God is not a child and he knows how you are. So, God has given us power and authority. If your heaven has been closed, pray God to open. If you don't hear God at all, you have never heard God, you don't hear anything from God, you are blind, you don't know what to do, you have been calling, you have been going everywhere, sit down and check yourself. Check yourself what's wrong, what's wrong with you. Because once a person is accursed, this person, no matter what he will do, he, he, he will never appreciate it and he doesn't, he will never be happy or she will never be happy. Because he has given permission of the curses to grow in, 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 in them. The enemy has put, he has destroyed his life and instead his hunger, how to temper. Yeah, he is watching every word you are talking. He's always, they are always negative. People like that, nothing good will come to them. You have to sit down and see, why am I like this? Why can't I be like other people? Why do I be offended all the time with the little, little things you take it? You are so offended. And then you, you don't know your God. Jesus is not like that. God is not like that. Jesus could have been offended so much. Yeah? But he refused. You have to refuse anything that would make the devil to destroy you, to destroy anything good in you. You have to refuse. Maybe he's using that one. You are the person who picks something, you twist it, it becomes something in you. I remember, sometimes I ask people to read for us. I ask people to read some scripture. I just give people opportunity to practice, to exercise. Not that I don't know how to read, but I want to give people to, to also to, 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 to be blessed. I, I told one lady, please read for us. And then I gave her the scripture. And this lady was asking me all the time, do you want me to read? Do you want me to read? I said, I gave you the scripture so that you can be read. You don't have to ask me every time. Now, because I said that, she, she, she was offended. Because I said that. I told her, I, have, I gave you the scripture, Ari, to read. So there's no point you are asking me all, all, all the time. Just read. Read when I ask you to read. Just read. Don't ask me a question. Now, this woman, she was offended. I didn't know until I got a text message telling me, I'm sorry, I will never, never read, uh, read uh, I will never read again. I said, what? What? What did I do wrong? Huh? And then she said, she, she never replied me. She cut off and starts out the hand. That's the hand of that woman. You see, the devil is a liar. There's nothing I did wrong. And if I offended her, she could call me and tell me, Christine, you know, I, I, you've offended me. I, I, I was not happy about what you said. And then we finished. Now the devil used her in that little thing. And then she's gone. And, and nothing good would happen to her. Nothing good would happen to her. Nothing good would happen to such, to, to such a people. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. My God. Now, here, we are looking for the, 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 the scripture. 
We read another scripture from the book of First Demot 1.18. First Demot 1.18. This is the, the word of God. This church I entrust to you, Timoth, my child, in accordance with the prophecy previously made about you, that by you you may wait the good warfare. Uh, Paul encouraged Timoth. He said, Timoth, this church I entrust you because he was prophesied. Timoth, fight a good warfare. Fight a good fight. You don't have to look down because you are young. You might be young in the spirit. You might be young in Christ. You might be young in salvation. You might be young in everything, even hate-wise. But don't look down. Don't, or you might be young in spiritual warfare. Don't allow the enemy to take advantage of you because you are young in salvation. You are young in spiritual warfare. You are young in, in the ministry. Don't allow anything like that to happen to you. Don't allow the enemy, the devil, to destroy good things that is coming. The devil is a liar. Don't allow them in the mighty name of Jesus. The, 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 God is God. Now, uh, the Bible says in John 14, verse 12 to 13, the Bible says, Mostly I swear I say to you, who, who, he, who believe in me, the works that I do, he will also do. He will also do also. And the great works than this, he will do because I go to my father. And whatever you ask in my name, that I will do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If you ask anything in my name, I will do it. Yeah? So, God, Lord Jesus, Son of the living God, Jesus, the Messiah, is talking to us. He said, the only thing, believe. Believe in him. Believe what he, do, he does. Everything is we are using through Jesus Christ. It is he who gave us power and authority. It is he who told us that I'm going to the Father. I will not leave you alone. I will give you an elder, a divine elder, a comfort, a counselor, the Holy Spirit. He's, he promised us. He said, just believe in me. Ask me. Just, we are going to ask God. We are going to ask him now. In the name of Jesus, we are going to ask him to take anything that is destroying anything good in your life to be destroyed in Jesus' name. Uh, we are going to ask Jesus because he has said, ask me anything in my name, I will do it. We are going to ask God, Jesus, to, to, to destroy every wind, anything evil, anything destroying good things in your life to be destroyed in Jesus' name. We are going to destroy anything that is destroying good things in your life. In the mighty name of Jesus. I want to pray for you now. By the power and the blood of Jesus. If you have not given your life to Jesus. And you are listening to this message. Do so quickly. So that you can benefit. This prayer does not go with the unbelievers. This prayer it goes with believers. Therefore people of God. If you have not given your life to Jesus. And you want to hear you, these prayers. Just confess. Say Lord Jesus forgive me. I am a sinner. Lord Jesus, forgive me, I'm a sinner. Write my name in the book of life, on the book of the living. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. You just a simple confession. When you confess like that, heaven has opened and they will receive you. And then you can be able to pray these prayers without a counter, a counter attack, without being, uh, being attacked in the mighty name of Jesus. Just confess. Say, Lord Jesus, forgive me. My sins, all my sins, forgive me, Jesus. Write my name in the book of the living. In the name of Jesus, amen. You just confess by yourself. You don't have to confess on me. You confess to Jesus. You confess to God, your Father. Then the prayers will work for you very well. If you are an enemy, and you know enemy cannot be divided by the enemy. You can be enemy by yourself. So you have to be, get out. You, you say, now... Let me know that I'm, I'm, I'm destroying the works of the enemy. I'm not the enemy of God. I'm the friend of God. It's my father. Now you will pray the prayer that will work for you very well in the name of Jesus. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Oh, wind, hear the word of the Lord. Carry your warfare back to, this, back to, back to the camp of the environmental polluters 
environment of witchcraft, environment of sorcerers, environment of familiar spirit, environment of robbers, environment of ritualist, environment of chanters, environment of diviners, environment of murders, in the name of Jesus. Now we are asking God. We are asking Jesus because he said we would ask him. We would ask him anything. He will do it for us. So we are asking the wind of God to hear the word of the Lord and the call warfare. We ask the wind of God to call warfare to destroy every enchantress, to destroy every witchcraft, to destroy every robber, every spiritual robber, to destroy every sector, every environmental sorcerers, to destroy them. Let the wind, you know the wind? The east wind that blow on Red Sea and diverted Red Sea, the children of Israel walked on dry land. And then the same wind came together and swallowed and, and buried the Egyptian alive. This is the wind we are going to use to go to the camp of the enemy and destroy them. Because if you don't destroy you, them, they will destroy you. You have to destroy anything that the enemy is using to destroy good things in you in jesus name we are going to use the wind of god to blow to the eyes to blow to the work of the enemy and destroy them in the mighty name of jesus in the mighty name of jesus yes any material formed in your body being used any materials from your body being used against against your prosperity i command them to catch fire People of God, you have no, no, you have no idea. You people ask you money. You are relative. You give them in good faith, even churches. But you have no idea. Some of them, they don't use this money. They take it to the witchcraft coven. They bless your money in a, in a, in a, in a, in a, in a graves. They bless your money in a, in the witchcraft uh, uh, oracle. Now you wonder when you are, you just see things changing you don't have money you lose the job everything turn against you even in the church you wonder what is this why that I, things are going like that and then you started panicking you started worried you started wondering what has gone wrong what's wrong because you somebody has taken your money to the coven has taken your money to the grave as chanting and speaking evil some people they are giving money all over everywhere everywhere you give your tithes and offering good and then you take some some you you plant a seed some and other places now you destroy every good thing that you are planted because this wicked they will not appreciate they will take your money to the evil to the wrong place and damage your money and witch your money therefore i pray any material from your body being used against your prosperity i command them to catch fire Burn to ashes in Jesus' name. In the mighty name of Jesus. I nullified premature and still bad breakthrough in your life in Jesus' name. By the power and the blood of Jesus, I release your destiny from any witchcraft gauge. Any witchcraft, your destiny that has been gauged, has been put in the gauge in the witchcraft. Come. Witchcraft that have, have gauged your, your destiny. I command them by fire. I command them by, 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 by thunder to release your destiny in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, God, thank you, Father. In the name of Jesus. Yes, God, my Father. I release you from, from any evil chain in the name of Jesus. I release you from any evil chain, any chain in your hands, any chain in your, your, your legs, any chain that has chain in your eyes in the name of Jesus. I command them to catch fire. Chains of Satan, chains of witchcraft, come out. I cut you into pieces. I command you to catch fire and burn to ashes in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. You are destiny. I command your destiny to hear the word of the Lord. Arise and sign. Let your destiny arise and sign. Arise and sign. Your destiny shall rise and sign. Shall arise and sign in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Go and read the book of Isaiah 60, verse 1 to 5. You will see. You need your, your, your destiny to sign. To arise and sign. Call your name by, by, by your name. Christine, arise and sign. 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 Some of you, you have been put on whole face. You look very old than your head because the enemy wants to destroy even your body. He, he, has, he, he, he plans to destroy everything. By the power and the blood of Jesus, let him destroy himself. 
Let them destroy themselves. Let them destroy themselves. Arise and sign. Arise and sign. Arise and sign. The time has come. You will arise and sign in the mighty name of Jesus. Spiritual failure at the gate of breakthrough. I command you to lose your hold in Jesus' name. Any spiritual failure at the gate of your breakthrough. When you are about to get something, the enemy comes and, and make you to fail to lose. I command them by the power and the blood of Jesus to lose them, to lose them, to be destroyed. You know, we have been told that we will bind anything here on the earth and it will be bound in heaven. We have told we will lose everything here on the earth and heaven will be loose. Therefore, I command the spirit of failure to lose their direction, to lose their ways in the mighty name of Jesus. I bind them and I destroy them in Jesus' name. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh God, my Father, every satanic portion in your body be neutralized by the blood of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, God, my Father. Yes, every power is almost there. You are almost to get it. Something happened and then you miss. You start crying. You feel bitter. Many times it has happened to people. You have seen it. It happened, you work so hard, you expect it, and then discouragement, you are a fairy. You feel sorry. Narrowly. Narrowly fail. That is a great enemy. That's why you don't joke with that enemy. Anything that is giving enemy anything in your body, in your life, to, to, to access, to destroy you, let this enemy die. Let this power be destroyed in Jesus' name. Your attitude can open a door for the enemy. The way you are thinking, the way you 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 are you you you, you are you are planning negative, it can give the enemy a door to attack you. Therefore, people of God, you are a child of God. You are a spiritual warfare. You have to stand against every tatters of the enemy. You have to stand against every activity, every anything that is the enemy is using to bring you down, to make you fail in Jesus' name. Yes, you pray this prayer. I want you to pray very aggressive and very angry in your spirit. You pray, my spirit man, receive strength to bring me forth joy in Jesus' name. You ask the spirit, the spirit, the spirit man, you need the spirit man to enter in your body, to enter and receive strength. You need the spirit man. Ask the spirit of God to enter in your body, inside and renew you in Jesus' name. You pray, my spirit man, receive strength to bring forth joy in the name of Jesus. You need the joy of God. Remember the prayer, that the song that we had. Yeah, you have to laugh. Sometimes you are so miserable, you cannot, you cannot laugh because of what you are going through. You never laugh. You are always grooming, you are always angry, you are always bitter, you, are, you tell yourself negative. You know, you call yourself, I'm a casty person. You know, words are very powerful. You are not cast. If you, you, you confess you are cast, yes, the devil will say, yes, I've cast you and you know it. So you leave it with that cast. You can't confess that. You don't have to confess that. You destroy it. You command them. You command every cast in your life. You, you tell the castes, hear the word of God. Anybody placed a cast in me, I destroy it. I cast it. I reverse it. I command them to go back to the sender in the mighty name of Jesus. You fire back every hour of death in the name of Jesus. You fire back every hour of failure. You fire back to the honor and the spirit of death and hell. You fire it back in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, yes, treasure. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. Every blood covenant, every blood covenant working against your life, working against you, I command them to catch fire and dry up in Jesus' name. Wherever this blood covenant is working against you. Let it be destroyed. Let it be rendered powerless in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, Lord, my Father, I pray that God will withdraw every power that is in charge, that is, 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 that is in charge of your, por your property, your, your poverty in Jesus' name. Every spirit of failure in your life be destroyed by fire, be destroyed by the blood of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, I want to thank you, Father. I bless your name, God. Every barrenness of good things in your life be destroyed and be pressed with the, the spirit of abundance, good, goodness in Jesus' name. I pray by the power and the blood of Jesus. Every, every spirit of poverty 
be destroyed and be replaced with the spirit of prosperity in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray that God Almighty will replace the spirit of poverty to, to replace the spirit of prosperity in Jesus' name. In the mighty name of Jesus. Every power that has desired to put you into shame, be destroyed by the blood of Jesus. Be destroyed by the blood of Jesus. Any power wants to put you in shame, be destroyed by the power and blood of Jesus. Be destroyed by the blood of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Be destroyed. Destroy any power that is in charge of destroying good things in your life in Jesus' name. Destroy. I destroy. I destroy. Destroy every, every power that is in charge of destroying good things in your life in Jesus' name. Let God destroy them. Every good things the enemy is destroying in your life in Jesus' name. Any power, any power want to destroy good things in your life, let them be destroyed in Jesus' name. By the blood of Jesus, arise and bluetooth powers sanitize your destiny in the mighty name of jesus yes lord my father i want to thank you god i bless your name my god my father and my god i destroy every power that is destroying good things in your life let them be destroyed let them the fire of god catch fire let the fire of god destroy them let the consuming fire of god consume every good things Every bad things the enemy has put in you, and let God of Elijah arise with the consuming fire to destroy every things that the enemy is, is destroying you in Jesus' name. My God, I want to thank you. Father, I bless your name. I give all the glory, God. I give you honor. You are a great God. Loving Father, I thank you. I give you the glory. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. Thank you very much. I have to stop here. God bless you. See you tonight midnight 12 midnight and we will be prayer on radio and prayer line and popcorn we have a radio overcome us d8 radio uh and prayer line and popcorn so join us we don't we are not on periscope so please join us all the messages are on the radio you can go there and view we are talking about prosperity we have refused that nothing by all means will make you poor. You shall prosper. Nothing, nothing. The Bible said, John, John, first, first John 3, the, 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 that letter of John, verse 1 and 2, it is says that the, it, it, is, it is the power of God that will make you wealthy. It is the power of God that will make you to prosper and healthy in Jesus' name. Therefore, people of God, we are standing as we continue prayer and fasting. We must come out from this enemy called poverty in jesus name you can be poverty of so many stuff not necessary money but poverty is in, in every area i pray that god will help you and set you free in jesus name you will know the truth and the truth will set you free during this time of prayer and fasting in jesus name you you will discover you will recover everything the enemy has has stolen from you in jesus name thank you very much god bless you i love you so much and there's nothing I can do about it. Go to our website, www.overcomersdhministry.blogspot.ca. Also, if you need prayer, you need me to stand with you in prayer in any way, you can call me. Our number is 905-792-3798 or 905-487-7196. All these prayers, this is the landline and the cell phone. Any of you, any, any of them, I will get it and I will come back to you. Also, you can email us, overcome us, dhm at gmail.com. Remember, if this ministry is blessing you, go and donate an amount. I appreciate those one, the people who have been donating. I appreciate you. I stand with you and I really pray for you and God will help you in Jesus' name. Thank you very much and have a wonderful time, people of God. Once again, I love you and there's nothing I can do about it. You know that. Thank you very much. Bye.